as a trustee, you're a trustee, so that's the involvement as a kind of board. But my real joy has been to share what I've learned on my journey about the importance of energy, human energy. For many, many years I've run programs, I've attended training programs, I've been to the field, and I've been promoting the fundamental that says that when your energy is high, your performance goes up. It was through meeting um, Mrs. Mbeki. Uh, she explained to me what WDB was about and I was fascinated. But I was fascinated from a point of view of corporate. And I saw the potential for WDB to be a perfect BEE partner in the commercial world. And that's what I proposed to her. So she liked the idea, we put some money up. I funded Tanya Slubbert to run it and we formed WDB Investment Holdings. And it was a, an investment business that thrived on the BEE opportunity and created a very substantial asset and cash flow for WDB over many years. Well, the highlights for me were, were two kinds of highlights. The one was being in the field whenever we got an opportunity to go and be with the women who we were serving and who we were caring for. And that always had fantastic experience. I remember we went once recently to hand over a home to a gogo. And that was an extraordinary experience which will last the rest of my life. And the other joy I got was out of training sessions, sharing training sessions with the field operators. My contribution was about energy because fundamentally you can be as clever as you want to be and you can have all the skills and you can have everything but if your energy is not there you don't use them so my contribution was to add the dimension of energy to the work that they were or the, the skills that they were learning the milestones have been shared learning where we've made mistakes where we've gone into situations that didn't work and then come out of them because it's a very fragile relationship it's not like a relationship in commerce where you have a customer. They're not customers. They, they're precious. They need us, but they don't buy from us. So there's no kind of power you can play with them. You can't demand that they're at a meeting at a certain time. It's all about, it's all about caring and love and helping them, not by giving them money, but helping them to find out how to use it and how to use their community strengths. So we've learnt a lot on the way, because originally we were sort of more lending and less helping. I made my mark in corporate life and we had customers and we sold for a living. And we had a kind of firm relationship with the market. WDB doesn't sell anything, it just loves. <laughs> it just sells love and caring. And you can't call those people who benefited by WDB as its customers. It's fellow travelers there, it's, it's, it's family. It's about energy, it's about creating positive outcomes. It's not about forcing. You can't force in WDB. You can't force anybody to do anything. You can't even force them to pay you back because you don't want to. You want to understand why they're struggling and so on. So this is not a power place. At times they worry about not being a power place because all of them have come from corporates and power organizations and Mrs. Mbeki herself, of course, understands power. But they don't use it like we use it in corporates. If you look at WDBIH first, because as a businessman, I can understand that. I mean, it's a staggering story of capital growth and of, of creating a, a, a pot of wealth which will last and last and grow. And it's a great credit to those people, Tanya, um, so Sonia, Faith, now Daphne, who made sure that it's an incredible investment. So that side of it, I'm quite under I understand and I'm quite proud of it because I had a hand in starting it and keeping it going. The WDB part, I think the big day was last month in Pretoria, when, or the big week, when I think WDB emerged as the ultimate, um, integ with the ultimate organization with the greatest integrity and the greatest future. There have been other women's movements, other women's companies that have been good and they've made money and they've made money for their shareholders. But I think WDB has emerged as the, as the model and it will grow fast now because it's really got 
huge opportunities in the other provinces. What would be my advice is double the speed with which you reach the, the people who need your, your help. They need it now, not next year or the year after. And if we have to do that by merging with activities with people who are already in that game, by joining with them and showing them what we do best and learning from them where they do what they do best, it shouldn't be selfish, it should be generous. We should, we should be pioneers amongst the movements that are doing similar things. The pioneer, the leader. I like that thought. Ha, ha, ha.